when I was hiring a role, um, I was interviewing a lot of different folks who had all you know, very similar levels of experience at, from, um, you know, from across the TV landscape. And um, there was, I, I ultimately wound up hiring a woman who was a dynamite executive. And her, where she was in her previous job was far less than I was hiring for at that role. And you know the recruiters, you basically you give them a range of what you're looking for, whatever, and they bring you they bring you a candidate in, their, in those ranges and those kind of things. So um, she uh, she was making a, a, a significant amount less than the person I that I was replacing, um, who was a man, and all the other the other finalists for that role were were men who were making significantly more than she was, and. Um, when she came in and se accepted the job at a premium to what she was making, but at a discount to the other one, to the other people, um, I just said, I, I know that's the market, <laughs> whatever, the mar it's your market, what you're doing, but um, wh we're not gonna do that. We're gonna bring you, I'm gonna pay you with what I was paying Did she previously. even realize? No, mm -hmm. no. So do you think there's a responsibility to make that more transparent in the workplace? Yeah, so now all of our vice president, everyone mm -hmm. at Netflix, vice president and director, has visibility into everyone else's pay. Um, for that reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's a big reason. The transparency yeah. is the best, the best path, I think, to pay equity is transparency.